Ama ki ben. you guys doing happy sunday i just put on some makeup because i need to shoot some content today i'm supposed to finish off the sheer moisture's content and i have to go to target they're launching today so i need to just go in shoot some content in there i slept on my hair last night so it's not laid like i like it to be but it'll do for now because you guys hear the heat i don't know sometimes i feel like you guys can hear the background noise but then when i listen to the video i don't really hear it so maybe you guys aren't hearing it but the radiators or radiators or whatever you guys call them are very noisy they, they make a lot of clunking noises when the heat is coming up anyway so i am about to go find something to put on jay went out and said he's bringing me back fried dumpling and i'm like babe no no i'm trying to avoid eating like the flour you know the white flour basically i i if i have something that's whole grain or oats or something i'll rather eat that than eat the white flour you guys he's like he's not listening to me you know he does not realize how important it is for me to eat more clean and more healthy and not just wasted calories because I feel like that's what I'm going to be doing, wasting calories when I eat that. So I'm going to um, probably go boil some eggs or something and have that and maybe some avocado. I may make a salad. When I go to Target, we may pick up some stuff from there or may stop by the supermarket. I don't really do a lot of groceries, guys. Jay do the grocery shopping most of the times. I don't really like go do heavy grocery shopping. I don't, I don't really do that before we before this relationship I used to do instacart and that was for me easier it was less stress i just i just feel like i just don't have enough time sometimes to do those things and welcome back to another weekly vlog it seems like you guys are really enjoying these vlogs and i am so happy to hear this welcome to any of you who are new if you are new my name is gloria I sometimes forget to introduce myself because I act like y'all already know me. I'm, I'm known as Life with Glory B. People call me G. People call me Glow. Some people call me Glow Money. Some people call me Glory. Some people call me Glory B. I'll answer, okay? I am an over 50 content creator. Lately, I've been more focused in on like beauty and health. But fashion is also very near and dear to me. I grew up in a house of designers people who created pieces daily i grew up around sewing machine i went to school for fashion you know but i do a bunch of other things like teach workout classes i was a fitness instructor many many years ago i was also a manager for lucille roberts many many years ago if you live in the tri-state area you might have heard of lucille roberts it's all women's gym so did that for two and a half almost three years and I always loved like being an instructor. That was something that brought me a lot of joy. I love doing it. I actually got so comfortable working out at home that a few times post COVID, I went to the gym to work out. It really isn't my thing. I'm not interested in waiting on people's machine. I'm not interested in leaving the comfort of my home to go into no one's gym anymore. I absolutely love working at home. And I'm glad that I have others who are doing it with me. I'm a cave then. 
I'm having one dumpling. I have a headache. I've had this headache since I woke up. I don't know why I'm getting headaches like this lately. But anyhow, so I've decided I'm going to stay in. I'm not going to go out today. I'm going to go tomorrow morning early to Target to do the, the filming there. I'm wearing this very large oversized robe. It has short sleeves with a little frill. I really like this. It's shorter than my usual robes. I usually have my robes fairly long, like definitely like uh, close to my ankles. But this one, I got this off of Amazon a while ago. I'm wearing this little bralette top from Honey Love. It's, it's a bra, but it's like a bralette. So it doesn't have like the hooks or anything. You just pull it on just like a sports bra. And then I'm wearing these little shorts. This is my relaxed and comfy vibe. I don't like a lot of clothes in general. <laughs> I, like, I don't like to have a lot of things on me, especially when I'm home. I like to feel relaxed. So I usually just put on some lingerie or, you know, a robe. And that's, that's always my vibe when I'm at home. This is one of my favorite coffee mugs i got this from anthropology it, it comes with a matching saucer and it also has the matching bowl just wanted to give you that update but i think i'm going to relax for the rest of the day these headaches are coming very often and i don't know why like i try to think of all the reasons why but i feel like it could be stress I spent most of the day yesterday editing that video and you were sitting in a position where you're constantly like looking down like yeah that in itself could cause my neck to feel like strained and I feel like if the headache is coming from my neck you know all right I can hear Joe out there watching a show it sounds interesting so I'm gonna go join him on the couch guys <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later enjoy your Sunday and I just uploaded my recent vlog, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey fam, so I'm running out to go get some snacks, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm still wearing my bralette underneath, but I threw on my favorite sweater. This sweater, I have no idea where I got it from. It's been a part of my wardrobe forever, to the point that even the tag is missing, I don't know. Maybe it came up when I was doing laundry. And I'm wearing a pair of these black full leather type tights that have like that latex look my slides these are by sorrow these are so warm and comfy it's about 50 degrees out so i don't need to wear like socks or anything and i'm going to be wearing my free people uh this is like a almost like a teddy coat but it's very light not too thick so this is what a coat looks like all right i'm gonna grab my sunnies and go yeah, these are probably my favorite sunglasses right now. I wear these every day. I keep them in my bag, my work bag. Alicia Johnson. I would have mentioned these previously in a few other vlogs. I am heading out. Going to Target. I was supposed to go yesterday, but I'm going today. I just wrapped up a meeting. Gonna take my lunch break. Go. Hopefully they do have the Shea Meister deodorants because it's supposed to have hit the stores yesterday. And <laughs> you never know, something could go wrong. Let me show you what I'm wearing. It's a simple t-shirt. It says, not your baby girl. I don't know what it looks like in the mirror, but I'm assuming it looks like something else. Maybe you can read it, maybe you can't read it. Anyway, and these jeans are some ASOS jeans. These are mom jeans, but they are not the oversized style. They fit me pretty narrow in the hips and in the waist. Oh my God. I love that these jeans were made with the waist like extra, extra snatched. Some of my favorite jeans, y'all. This is supposed to be a crop top, but because the jeans comes up so high, I can actually tuck it in. To the I would love a pair of jeans that fits just like these but without the ripped knees. That's what I'm looking for, something that would fit like these. I'm going to put on my sweater. I'm going to wear my coat by Noise, the blue one that I got from Rent the Runways sample sale. 
you all heard the story about that quote. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to repeat it. And yeah, run out and come back. So I'm also wearing my new boots by the Red Black Kids. I think some of you were interested in these boots. I saw these when I went to one of those showrooms for New York Fashion Week. Damn, I can't remember the name of the showroom. But anyhow, there were, the, were a bunch of different designers. These are made by black designers. Their symbol is like the lightning bolt. I'm going to show you these closer. I'm probably going to like insert a photo of them. So you guys can really have a good look at them and they're so comfy so comfy i'm obsessed with them guys all right put on my coat and get out of here all right she's warm <laughs> good morning fam my train is coming but i wanted to say good morning to you guys sunlight is beaming I probably do not need this coat this morning, but it was there. It was the last thing I wore yesterday, so I felt like I just grab it. It's about 41 or 42 degrees right now, and it's supposed to go up to 63, which is exciting. Fam, I just came out for lunch. I just checked, and it is 64 degrees now, and I have on my warmest coat. Help. <laughs> I'm not taking it off, though. I'm not hot enough yet.
my god, I am obsessed with this pajama set. makeup routine so I'm actually thinking about using my phone instead yeah I think I'm gonna use my phone now the under eye cream that I use is by City Beauty this is so moisturizing like it feels so good it feels so good it feels like I'm giving my under eye a treatment problem is I don't use it every day I use this on my brows. I figure if I can use it on my hair and my scalp, that I could also use it on my face. And so far, I have had no adverse effects from using this. It really leads my brows. See the difference? They actually look a lot thicker. This is MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. This is what I use as a highlighter. I just take the same brush, put it on the tip, and I sweep this under my eye. I don't like to see that on the eye area looking too light. Like some people's own are like, so you can see like the line of demarcation like where they put it on and there's like this line that this is distinct me i like to like blend it out and then those same areas is where i put my highlighter my actual highlighter so people usually contour by putting a darker color here i put a lighter color i do the reverse contour because my cheeks are already snatched right so I don't need to define my cheekbones. 
I have sculpted cheeks. So to actually make my cheeks look less sculpted, I go in with a lighter in here so it doesn't look as sculpted. Trust me, as you get older, you don't really want your, your cheeks and your face to look to look too gaunt and too thin. That actually ages you more. Useful faces are usually a little bit more plump, right? So that's the illusion I want to give. I'm using the Benai Colorless Powder. Makeup artists use these and um, people who do the nails. I got these off of Amazon. Like to mix their colors sometimes. But I just use that to put the powder in. Or right, so the powder is everywhere. And I don't need a lot. Just need a little. Definitely put it around my chin. Guys, you would have noticed that I didn't use a lot of foundation on all right around my circumference i but i blend it out so it doesn't look like <laughs> i'm only putting makeup here you know I just blend it out so some residue of makeup that will go around my circumference the same hourglass concealer i take the same brush this is my favorite brush and guys i i've already lost the name on that i don't remember what brand that is I'm almost done guys today i'm actually going to just use my Laragella. this is my all-time favorite makeup palette it just has in a lot of nudes browns and a little bit of sparkle i'm going to use this brown i'm going to just smooth it over my lid i just want to blend it out with this bigger brush this is a more fluffy brush so that blends it out easy actually use a smaller one just to go under That's the same color. I just put a little bit, smudge it under my eyes. This is my Dior primer, <laughs> my lashes primer. I need to order another one. The only time I remember that I need to order is when I'm about to put it on. Other favorite palette. Now this one is the Saharian blush. I love this volume two. I had the other one before and I killed it. For my natural look, I go with these two other ones. I always blend it out and blend it up to my brows. There's this gold color that I like to also use to finish highlighting my brows. And again, over my nose. I believe I got this from like a beauty supply store. I won't be applying any lipstick this morning. My same lip plumper. That, that is it. That is it. Don't know how well this film. Sometimes the way the camera is holding looks kind of weird. Guys, it is 802. It is 802. I gotta go. I'm gonna put two bumps in my hair and then I'll come back and see you guys on my way out. Or while I'm walking. Guys, I'm really getting my exercise today because, listen, I didn't work out this morning. My days are off days, but 
we just had to climb like a thousand stairs just to get out of that transition. So I decided to take the train here to Fifth Ave. This blazer is nice but it was too small and I really didn't like the black buttons so much. And the minute I saw this one and I saw the detail in the waist, the way they cinched it in with the double darts, I knew that that was going to be a great fit. I tried it on in a large and I actually loved it in a large. It still had that shape that I was looking for but give a lot of room in the shoulders. Remember this bag guys, I was clearly drawn to it, but this is the larger version to the one that I shown you guys previously. I really love this bag. I didn't get it though. I have more than enough black bags in my collection. Zara is doing it with the denim collections, with their streetwear collections. I just love all of the pieces. I wanted everything, but I had to stay focused. And I'm forever looking for a white button down. Okay, fam. I think this top is also a winner. It looks like it's supposed to go with the blazer. I really love it. One thing to note, there is not a lot of structure, but it really tapers in at the waist. I like that I open up the bottom at the bottom. It just kind of like opens it up a bit. Even looks good with the pants that I'm wearing. This is the pants I purchased yesterday. It's a go. It's a go. That and the blazer. Let me try on the blazer better here. Even though you guys already seen it, let me put it on again. Trying it on over my shoulder. It's always a vibe. Oh my god, I am obsessed with these blazer guys. <laughs> hope you guys can see me. Here's a little dark. And I hope you can hear me. Lights on today, people. Lights on. My only car set, as you can see, it makes the world a difference when I put my clothes on. Everything is just so like smooth and this is not too bulky. I love it. Guys, this is the jeans that I wanted. See it has the slits at the knee. I believe I found it in a four. It may still be too small. Jeez. I need to try it, but I'm running out of time. <laughs> I'm thinking I'll, I'll just get it. Take it home, try it, and return it if it doesn't fit. Thank you. All right, guys. I secured the goodies. Let's go back to work. Seriously, those Zara's, they're killing it with this cargo pants. I want all of them. But <laughs> it's in my travel those. I need some more like pieces that I can wear when I have events. And I've been having invites every week. I've even had to turn down a few. Because I still have a job, you know, I can't go to every event that you guys are asking me to come to. 
<laughs> All right, let's hop back on the train. I should be back to work shortly. Ooh. Okay, I have a Cumbrian fish. Feels good to be leaving while the sun is out. By the time I get home, the sun will be down. Almost sure of it. Anyway, spring is in the air. Today was another nice day. I really love this bodysuit that I wore today, this leopard print one. I wore this for New York Fashion Week. Um, that was the first time I wore it. I haven't worn it before. And I had it and forgot I had it. Now I need to purchase some others in a different color because Amazon has them in different colors. It feels so good. It's like, like very light cotton fabric, not itchy, thick enough to keep me warm while I'm in the office, but not too hot. Good morning, fam. Didn't manage to get on earlier this morning, but this is what you got. Waiting for my train, it comes in about three minutes. This morning before I worked out, actually as soon as I woke up, I took a shower, washed my hair, and I molded it so that it was kind of like drained before I worked out. I usually shower about an hour before the workout. So I had about 45 minutes of just air drying, and then I worked out. After my shower, after the workout, I spent about 10 minutes under the dryer. But while I'm under the dryer, I'm doing my makeup. I do it all the time, guys and my hair was dry. Usually it takes a longer time for it to dry, obviously because I'm washing it after the workout. So from now on, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. All right, my sunnies, these are by Alicia Johnson. I get tons of compliments. Every time I wear these and I walk into the building, people, random people walking by, always ask about them. They're a little large for my face, so I'm always like trying to push them back <laughs> up on my face. I didn't think my face was so small but apparently it is because most sunglasses are a little too big for me unless I can find the frames that you can actually pick the size if they're just made standard the struggle is real all right trains coming talk to y'all today I don't think so I was on IG most of the day oh my when I say IG meaning like I didn't vlog listen who am I out here in this just a a white button down shirt girl listen sis I need me about five or six more button downs white yes all them must be white and they must all look different in some way like this one doesn't have a collar I got this from London's look it actually came with a long sash to tie it had a bow I think it got lost at the laundry so when H&M came up with theirs with the bow I'm like oh my god I have one sis did not have that because she could not find the damn bow still can't find it but I could probably create one myself. I just need to find the white cotton and just create it. It was attached to the buttons on the neck. Anyway, London's looks, black on brand. Check them out. Hi fam, I'm still at work. It's been a really, really busy day. I was supposed to go back up for lunch, I didn't. I was in a meeting and then after that, I had something that I needed to clean. And then I had another meeting where it usually finishes at 6 and the meeting was still going on at 6. It just finished. But I have one more thing that I need to wrap up before I leave here. I could always leave it for tomorrow, but I hate to like 
start a project and not complete it. So I probably have another 30 minutes here. I don't know if I'll see you again before tomorrow, but we'll see. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Loves, I made it home. I think you guys are gonna see some fashion this week. I mean, yeah, a little fashion, but you don't really get a lot of fashion. But I picked up a few things from Zara that ordered some stuff online, and I also picked up a few things which you guys saw. And I, did, I think you guys deserve a little styling video. I'm thinking, should I make it a separate video, or should I make it a part of this video? I'm not sure, guys. Probably I'll do the styling video separately. It's been a while since I've done that. that not that I necessarily miss it because I'm still giving you guys fashion here but I feel for me to really style the pieces that I got it will take a few minutes so all right I'll check in with you guys tomorrow I'm gonna take these clothes off take a shower wash off the day it's been a day it's been a day y'all I've got a lot of editing to do for a brand guys did I tell you guys I'm gonna share with you or maybe I mentioned it before because my brain I'll be forgetting y'all it's over 50 and brain fog is real I worked with a brand called Westmore Beauty and they gave me these products for your body let me tell you there's it's called a body coverage perfector so they gave me two and I actually mixed the two together because I feel like the there are two colors one is a little lighter than my shade the other one is a little darker I actually put on the darker one by itself and I love how it gave me like this beautiful tanned look but when I put the two together they are like almost exactly the color of my skin so I think that that's how I'm watch the spider it. veins on my legs disappear in just a few minutes with the Westmore Beauty body coverage perfector I used to have flawless legs up until a few years ago when these pesky spider veins started to make their appearance this covers them up immediately I also applied it on some scars that I have on my arms as well as a burn that I got many years ago after applying I just let it dry for about 10 minutes and I enjoy flawless sun kissed skin that is smudge proof and water resistant. I especially love that it can last for a few days when applied to skin that is exfoliated and oil free. If you're someone like me who wants to cover up spider veins or scars, try the Westmore Beauty Body Coverage Perfector. Good night, my people. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, fam. The battle continues between myself and my abs. I'm about to put on my waist trainer and get on with the workout. It starts in about six minutes. I don't have a lot of time. Feels like the first time. Throw away all my. I'm not
not possessive, but you're mine. Okay. I'ma let you live, no shame. having my eyes pop and just keeping my lips very neutral but lately I have been going neutral on my lips a lot like I've been really loving the muted movie light pinky colors and my lips are naturally like especially my lower lip especially is already pink so I didn't add any color on the inside and I just gave it the ombre effect with the lip liner and I am loving it so much. I really love how this look came out. I just felt like playing up in makeup. All right, so I am about to go film my Zara try on haul. I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I, I kind of missed the try ons and I feel like you guys love what I'm doing so far, but that you also wouldn't mind if I do some more fashion, right? I don't think you guys are gonna complain so I'm gonna go do that I don't think I'm gonna include the try on in this video I'm gonna leave it maybe give you guys a bonus video this week yeah I feel like that's what I'm gonna do all right my loves I will be back I think this week I've been trying to use my mic but I had another mic that I bought from Amazon goodness I used that mic, I think, once. Did I use that mic before? I, I'm trying to remember the very first video that I put out this this year, if I used that mic or if I used the mic I'm currently using. This is the mic that I'm using right now. This came with the vlogging camera, my DJI Pocket 2. And it's a very, very good mic. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing too much of the movements that I'm making, because these things be picking up noises. The other mic that I got, it was very cheap. And I gotta use the word cheap because it was it was not expensive at all. It was very, very cheap. So I think you really do get what you pay for sometimes. I do not like it. It didn't do a good job while I was using it. I kept turning it off when I thought I was turning it on. And even when it was on, it sounded like I was a robot or something. Um, yeah, and I only just started to notice that as I'm editing the videos from last week I'm sorry I didn't start editing those videos before or I would not have used that mic during the week this current week so as soon as I'm done here I'm going to play this video over and make sure that this is doing what it's supposed to be but it did good I'm pretty sure this was the mic I used the first time I filmed this year my thing is to be mindful when I'm filming to use the mic as long as I'm coming on and talking to you, especially if I'm outside and there is like a lot of noise outside. I want you guys to hear me. I don't want to, I don't want to hear that you guys aren't hearing me because then that they defeats the purpose. Why am I talking if you guys can't hear what I'm saying, right? And I really needed to use it today because I forgot to mention that about three weeks ago or maybe it was two weeks, two to three weeks ago, one Sunday afternoon, there was a fire a very huge fire next door like I'm facing the window to my next door neighbor's building 
the family a three family house you would say and it's devastating so those people are now displaced i don't know where they are some of them had like help from salvation army immediately which was good but i don't know like how long that helped last or whatever but they're currently cleaning it out like the people who deal with these kind of things that specialize in cleaning up a building after a fire they're out there cleaning it up and they've been doing that for the last two weeks i'm almost sure it was two weeks ago and not three so they've been doing the cleanup and whatnot and it's a lot of noise i can hear like right now there's there's knocking i don't know if you guys can actually hear it when there's like banging and stuff going on so i yeah all right okay.